everyone, I'm Donna from the Wanted Adventure YouTube channel and I'm here on Easy Languages again today to talk about idioms involving profanities. As I mentioned last time, regardless of how you feel about swear words and whether or not you yourself like to use them, they are part of the English language and therefore we are going to talk about them. There was a warning at the beginning again and here's another warning for you now. This video contains profanities. If you don't want to hear swear words right now, bye! Last time on Easy American English Idioms. I think you might want to rethink this letter of resignation. Just give it a night, sleep on it, and see how you feel in the morning. But I want to like make a lasting impression on them with my like letter of resignation. OMG, I've got it. I have to go. Tell me, Donna, didn't you try to talk your friend out of quitting that way? Of course. She told me the plan that she had and I told her, if you do that, there will be hell to pay. If someone says there will be hell to pay, it means that you will be in trouble. There will be consequences for your actions. Bad consequences. So she just didn't listen to you? No, she didn't listen to me. I mean, I know that she busted her ass at that company and they basically fucked her over. She doesn't have to take their shit anymore, but still, I thought she should quit in a professional way. To take someone's shit means to allow yourself to be mistreated by someone. So if someone is being rude to you or mistreating you and you are just done with that behavior, you could confront them and say, I'm not taking your shit anymore. I suggested that she go to her boss dressed professionally in a suit with her hair pulled back nicely and then calmly hand him her letter of resignation. And what did she say to that? I think she said something like, I don't give a shit about being professional. Or maybe it was, I don't give a flying fuck about being professional. Either way, you can see that she didn't care. To not give a shit means not to care about something. To not give a flying fuck, or just to not give a fuck, means the same thing. You don't care. Additionally, to not give a damn also means not to care. So if you don't care about something, you can say, I don't give a damn, I don't give a shit, I don't give a fuck, or if you really don't care, I don't give a flying fuck. Yes, I can see that she didn't care. Tell me, Donna, has your friend always been the type of person to raise hell like this? I don't know if I would call what she did raising hell. I mean, it wasn't that bad, was it? To raise hell means to cause a lot of trouble, to really make a disturbance. She went into her boss's office and filmed herself putting a pie in his face and saying, I quit. Then she uploaded this video to YouTube for everyone to see. Shit is going to hit the fan. Yeah, okay, you have a point. She raised hell. Similar to someone saying there will be hell to pay, if a person says shit is going to hit the fan, that means there's going to be trouble. That's it for this episode. I hope you had an abso fucking lutely good time watching this video and learning these idioms with swear words. If you haven't gotten enough English swear words, there's always the book English as a Second Fucking Language, as well as Urban Dictionary, the book or the website. So there are a few resources for you. And for more of my videos about life in Germany and expat life in general, come check out my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash wantedadventure. Please come on over and subscribe, link in the description below, as well as all the idioms that we talked about today and their meanings. So my question for you is, actually this time, instead of a question, I have a bit of an exercise for you. Have you ever thought about the literal meanings of swear words before? Like the idiom, shit is going to hit the fan. Think about that literally for a second. Hmm. So my
my exercise for you is to consider the literal meanings of some of the swear words you use. And I would love to hear from you in the comments below what you think about those literal meanings. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to show some love with the like button. Until next time, Auf Wiedersehen! I know you're upset and all, but still, I don't think you want to open your letter of resignation with, Dear Mr. Miller, I can't believe you fucked me over. I also don't think you should call the marketing department an overall clusterfuck.